Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So today's video is in continuation to Azure Synapse Analytics Play series and this is part 13 in that. So we are going to discuss regarding create table statement in Azure Synapse Analytics. So this uh, might sound a little weird to you but actually I am going to discuss about each and every T SQL statement that we usually use in Azure Synapse. So when you talk about your commands for creating tables, you have your uh, create table statement, you have your create external tables, table statement, you have your create table as select, you have your create external table as select. So these are the four statements and right now I will talk about create table statement. In future videos, I'll talk about create external table, create table as select and create external table as select. All these statements I'm going to talk about in detail in each of my videos. So today's video will be restricted to create table statement, which basically creates an empty table by defining all the table columns and options. So let's go to the Azure Synapse workspace and see how we can use this create table statement. So guys, when you talk about uh, the Synapse works, workspace, I am in my Synapse workspace. If you have been following my previous videos, so you already know uh, all the basics regarding the Synapse workspace. So now coming on to the create table statement, when I say I'm creating a table, you should, the very first thing that should come into your mind is that you should be a connected to a dedicated pool. You should not be connected to your built-in or serverless pool, right? So you should always be connected to your dedicated pool. Why? I have told the reason in my previous video as well, because your dedicated pools, when you create a table, they will actually have some storage for that table. But when you talk about your serverless pools, these are mostly to create external table without any underlining storage. So when I'm saying I'm creating a table, it has to be inside a dedicated pool. So if I go to the left hand side on the data tab over here and you, if you open the database, right, you can see this dedicated pool. Let me zoom it. You can see that this dedicated pool actually has a different symbol. This serverless actually has a different symbol. So if you open serverless, you can only see an option to create an external table, external resource. But when you open dedicated pool, that is the time when you have an option to create table and external table. So, right. So we are going to create tables and remember to create tables, you have to be connected to a dedicated pool. How to create a dedicated pool? Everything I have mentioned in my previous videos. So let's see. Uh, let's talk about the basic command first. So when you uh, when you see this command on my screen, line number four to line number nine. So this is basically a very basic create table uh, command that you can use in your Azure Synapse. Here basically you are uh, saying that create table and you are providing the name of the table. So let's say your table name is my table and then you define the columns inside your table, right? So I have defined my column one and my column two as the two columns and then I have defined my data type. And in one of the column I have used collate and I'm specifying the collate over here. But in the column number one, I have not defined any collate over here. So the very first thing that will come to your mind, what is she talking about collate, right? So collate is nothing. It is just some property of a string in your Synapse SQL. When I say property of string, so you should understand that there is an encoding of string that happens. So if you're storing any data as string, there is an encoding that happens. So to specify the format of that encoding, you actually specify a collate, right? And apart from that, not just the encoding, it also, uh, you know, if you are doing any comparison between the two columns, right? So they, they in background, how it happens, it compares the encoding, right? So even comparing and sorting of the data that happens through your collate. So you, there are different types of collate. You might want to use, uh, you know, a specific collate for some X, Y, Z reason. So that is why if you have such a requirement and you want to define collate, you can do that in your create statement, uh, create table statement like this. 
but what happens to the column where I have not defined collate? So in that, the default collation, you can see in the green uh, comment over here, the default collation that is enabled is this one, KSWS, right? This is a default collation. So if I create this table, the column one will have the default collation because I have not mentioned any collate. Uh, I have not specified any collate over here, but the column two will have the collate that I have specified, right? And then I am also creating a clustered column store index on this table. But do remember that even by default, by default Synapse SQL will actually, uh, you know, create a clustered column store index. It will by default create it. So now again, another thing that will come into your mind is what is this clustered column store index, right? Now, this is nothing. This is just the way your data is stored in the underlining table. So let me show you this uh, little, uh, you know, snippet. So what it exactly shows is how your clustered, co you know, column stored index basically stores the data. It stores the data based on the columns. That's all right. Normally, your data is stored in form of rows. But when you talk about your clustered indexes, uh, the data is stored in form of these columns right data is stored as columns so just because of this there is a reduced input output operations you know the storage is less because it gets compressed and in the similar way when you have whenever you are firing a query only your referenced column will be fetched right and that is why it has a efficient data processing so now i'll go back to the uh, synapse workspace so basically you create uh, you know these indexes uh, on the large fact tables or maybe if you have a very large dimension table then you might want to use you know a clustered column store index over here in that case you have to put this option as well so this is your create table statement and let's execute this uh, statement now now if i run this statement you will actually see i'm running it in it inside a dedicated pool right now let's open this dedicated pool and see that whether my table got created or not. And yes, you can see that the, this dbo.mytable, it has been created and you can see that these are the columns that have been uh, added to my table. So guys, now let's say you want to have some kind of constraint on your column. In that case, if you look at the statement from line number 13 to 19, you can create your table. Let's say create table, my table. I'll actually name it something else. Let's say one. And then you can see that in the similar way, I have this column A, I have this column B, right? It has some specific data type and it has a constraint. Now to specify a constraint, you have to write the constraint keyword and you have to give a constraint name. And then you have to provide a value. So right now I want this constraint to be default zero. In that case, I will provide it as default zero. But remember this constraint name has to be unique in a database. So inside a, uh, inside a database, it has to be unique. Now let's run this command as well. Then you can see that this table will be created again, but it will have a constraint on column A and it will have a constraint on column uh, it will have a collate on column B, but not a constraint on column B because we have specified default zero for only column A. So guys, now let's say that you want to create a temporary table. Uh, yes. So let me first, uh, you know, explain you that you cannot create global temporary tables in, uh, you know, uh, in Synapse uh, dedicated pools you cannot create global temporary tables global temporary tables are usually created by using double hash like this but uh, you cannot do it uh, inside uh, dedicated pools in synapse you have only rights to create you know your local temporary table so when you create a local temporary table you can put a single hash like this if you see the way i have named my table so let's name it as my table temp uh, so that it's better for you to understand and you just have to add a hash in the beginning right so this is how you create your local temporary tables but you need to remember quite few things about this local temporary tables so only in the current session you'll be able to see these tables you'll be able to work with this table only in the current session right because these are the local tables so synapse will actually automatically drop them by the end of the session and similarly, you cannot rename these local temporary tables uh, once named 
named you cannot rename it and similarly you cannot have any partitions or views on these temporary tables so you need to remember these few points and one more thing that i would like to explain you on this is that you need to provide unique names so let's say in a session you are using two three temporary tables in that case you have to provide unique name to each of them and uh, yes so this is the way how you create uh, you know your temporary tables and distribution and regarding distribution i have already explained in my past videos if you have not seen that i do recommend going and watching my previous video i have explained in detail regarding the distribution over here so let's say in this local temporary table i want a distribution to be hash and this hash distribution should be based on the column id right so that is how you just uh, define your distribution and the clustered column store index so clustered column store index again i'll explain it is used to store your data in columns in case you are using just a clustered index your data is stored on the basis of row even in heap it is stored based on the rows right only in clustered column store index it is stored based on the columns mm -hmm. so if you execute this statement then in that case you will be able to see that the temporary table is created now guys as i have already explained to you in case you want to create a table with clustered column store index you can do it like this way create table table name and then in the with expression you can actually use clustered column store index now let's say you want to create an ordered cluster store index so you know your clustered column store index is by default not an ordered one so in case you want to order it you need to provide uh, this of this keyword uh, of order and the column based on which you want to order let me zoom it again so you can see over here that we have mentioned index order it, it, it is already quite zoomed now yeah so you can actually see that the order based on chip date right so what it is trying to do it is trying to create a table uh, named as line item in the with expression it has mentioned a distribution as round robin it has mentioned the clustered column store index but just the extra thing that it has mentioned is the order so by default uh, basically whenever uh, you know you create a index right it is not an ordered one it is not sorted so if you want to sort it it will actually help you to increase the performance in that case you need to use this order uh, clause and you can actually use it on any data type except for string for the obvious reason so that is why even here it is used as the ship date now let's say you want to uh, create table based on few distributions now distributions i have already mentioned right in my previous video so um, i will not go in detail what exactly does each uh, distribution mean but how we can create it create table my table and then you are basically providing the columns and their data types and with inside with clause you are writing just the clustered column index so what happens here is it will automatically by default create a round robin distribution of my table so because round robin is by default uh, created by azure synapse analytics you basically do not need to specify it uh, you know somewhere like uh, round robin you can if you want to and similarly when you talk about hash distributed table uh, you have to define your uh, distribution equal to hash uh, hash and the column on which you want to distribute it distribution column you need to mention it here distribution column is an id column so distribution equal to hash id and in the similar way if you want to create a replicated table all of these things i have explained in my previous video what exactly these are and where to use which similarly in that case you have to mention distribution equal to replicate over here if you want to create partition on your table then in that case how you can do that so if you see the command uh, line number 932104 so basically this is how you can define partition on your table so when i say partition on your table it will uh, actually what it does is it will partition your table based on rows it will create subset of your rows right and then you can perform operations on the subset that you have created 
So let's say for that you define uh, your create table statements as is and in line number 101 your partition is id range left for value. So even the partition you can define like left and right. So what does it exactly mean? So it will create partitions. So when you say left it will actually create a partition for the id columns less than 10 right and similarly when you define 20 it will create partition for the table rows between uh, for the table rows between 10 to 20 and then it will create a partition for the table rows between 20 to 30 and then 30 to 40 like that it will create the rows if you define the range as left over here so it will create partitions like that so the first partition will be less than or equal to 10 so it is less than or equal to 10 in the second one it is between 10 and 20 uh, including 20 and then the third partition will be 20 to 30 including 30 and the fourth partition will be 30 to 40 including 40, 40. So this is how basically it defines partition and similarly by default you need to remember that by default if you do not mention the uh, range as left or right it will by default take as left. In case uh, you, you want to create only one partition right first of all the default is left and you just want to create one partition you can just leave it as empty right empty over here it will automatically you know create uh, you know it will not have any values to partition over so basically it will not partition uh, you know anything it will only create one partition of the data if you leave it like this so that's what i wanted to cover in this video so i'll see you in next video when i'll explain about create external table create table as select and create external table as select each of these uh, t sql statements i'll explain them in detail in the next upcoming videos so thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like subscribe and share thank you